At this morning, 70 members, senators elect, 70 members of um, the 10th National Assembly, inshallah, of the 10th Senate. Your Excellency, we are 70 in number. As you can see here, we came in large number, but this is just almost the half of it because the, we are undergoing the second uh, induction, more than half. Okay, more than half. We are, we are 49 here, but those that have agreed with their decision to stabilize this country by indicating or zoning the Senate presidency to South South and having God's will of Pabio as the preferred candidate, we are here sir, to show solidarity with your decision and to also show appreciation for the wise counsel. I'm not particularly surprised because, ladies and gentlemen here and distinguished colleagues, I'm very, very close to the national chairman. And we, we have come a long way. We have been in the seventh Senate. <laughs> you want me to tell them? Okay. When he was the Waziri of Kefi, no, but it's good you hear it. He was promoted to the Turaki Baba. That is the biggest Turaki. That's Baba in Hausa, if you know, of Kevin. Then he graciously appointed me as the Waziri of Turkey. We were in the Senate. And you know me. He is truly an institution person. There was a bill brought by Mr. President, which most of the senators were in disagreement. And he came into the chamber late. By then, senators, 81 of them signed on to, to override Mr. President. And uh, came and they gave him to sign. He refused. But when he saw my name, he called me. He said, why did you sign? I said, ah, because most of the senators have signed. He said, ah, why didn't you wait for me? I said, okay. I'm sorry. You say, okay, you are sacked from today. <laughs> you are no longer the Waziri of uh, Turkey. I say, oh, God, you can't do this. He say, what can you do about it? I say, you know I'm from Borno. And even at one time, they say I'm sponsor of Boko Haram. Tomorrow, I will come with explosive on myself and detonate. Unless all of them, all, all of us die. He say, ah, okay, okay. In that case, you are restated immediately. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, our distinguished lady, this is the extent of our relationship with and, and I thank God. And let me say that he is also one of the reasons I took upon myself when I was graciously appointed as the DJ. Twice in the Senate, we are always together, but at the last minute, he will leave me and go to the institutional side and say to me, in Hausa, Bim Baba, we better learn this. Bim Baba, Bim Allah. What that means is that obeying the leader is like obeying God. 
So when we were with Saraki, he was part of us. At the last minute, when the, the president said, it was Ahmed Lawan, he said to Nina Tuki, I'm going with what the president wants. And I said, Niba in the center because I'm already committed. He said to Zach again. <laughs> and uh, you know how it ended with Saraki. Saraki started with me. When he, when, when he illegally removed me as the Senate leader, he was there and he escorted me out of the chamber. <laughs> I'm following your advice. The institution and the authority said by your wisdom that the Senate president should go to South South and it has come narrowed down to a Pabio Barrow ticket. Time, they said, and now that announcement was made. I was the first to append my signature. And the party said, that is not it. Go and get the number. You must get the endorsement of majority of the senators elect. Mr. Chairman, sir, after this, I will give you the list of. Yesterday, it was 69 when we went to Lagos. This morning, coincidentally, the senator from your state is the 70th member of this team. We want to thank you, sir, for your wise counsel, and I personally here want to appreciate you. And thank you very much <laughs> for this exceptional relationship that you have granted me. I want to assure you, as you know, unfortunately, the president, the vice president, the national chairman, the National Secretary, the National Deputy Chairman North, the uh, Auditor, National Auditor, all are Senators at various times. And therefore, these are Senators. For Senate, we have decided to tow and also appreciate what you have said we are 70. And why we call it the stability group is because the word came from you and the president-elect. He said, this country is at a time where we need to stabilize it. And stability can only come where there is justice, equity, fairness, and doing the right thing. We believe we are doing the right thing. But it is not yet over until it's over, sir. You know the role you can play? And you have started it already. And we in the Senate, or the 10th members of the 10th Senate, have come here to show you solidarity, to agree with the decision you have taken, and also to call the others to toe the line of consensus. Yes, after I speak now, he will speak, my, the, his deputy will speak, and he will speak before you do. But remember, and also I want to remind you that I'm still the Turaki of the, the Waziri, the Waziri of Turaki. Uh -huh. huh? So, having said that, sir, I want to thank you once more, honestly, sincerely, and, and also want to tell you, sir, that in our group, we have the governors that have been introduced. Two governors are unavoidably absent. One is Engineer David Omahi, who is the chairman of this the stability group. Stability group. And the governor of Niger, who is the co-chairman of the stability group. He, has, he is one of the signatories. He is unavoidably absent. In fact, Umahi made all effort to come from Eboi to attend this program, but he could not make it. And they sent their apologies and also appreciation. And uh, 
I know what you can do, sir. As you say, we want to have a Ranko Free Tent Assembly under your leadership, able leadership. And uh, I pray to Almighty Allah to give you strength, wisdom, <laughs> and longer life to help us achieve this program. With that, sir, please uh, permit me to invite the, our incoming Deputy Senate President, inshallah, to make his remark. Thereafter, our incoming um, eh? incoming Bamidele, yeah, he's my deputy, sir. He's the deputy DG, and uh, if you allow us, you make uh, the vote of thanks on our behalf. Thank you very much for the endorsement you've given us. We are here as loyal party members to appreciate the endorsement you gave Senator Gosville Akpabio to be the next Senate President by the grace of God. And myself, your son, to be the Deputy Senate President of the 10th Senate. We want to assure you, sir, that we shall stand by the policies, objectives, and the entire manifesto of our great party if elected into office. We shall, by every means, try to draw the attention of our colleagues who are yet to join this campaign team so that they can come along with us so that together we shall actualize these endorsements. I want to assure you again that we shall continue to be loyal. We shall, we shall continue to stand by every, everything that this party stands for because we know whatever this party stands for is standing to the prosperity of this country. We thank you, sir. We thank you. And we hope that in this, the incoming administration that is going to be sworn in in the next two weeks shall bring about unprecedented prosperity and development to this country. Thank you, sir. So we are very delighted that you've given us this opportunity to come and show solidarity and also to identify with the decision of the APC after very wide consultations with stakeholders, including the President-elect and, and His Excellency, the Vice President-elect, and other stakeholders in Nigeria, that yes, indeed, we have looked at the variables. The elections are over, and governance is about to begin. That the south-south part of Nigeria last had a Senate president in 1979, about 44 years or there about ago, when uh, the late Joe Wires came on board in the MPN. And of course, there are brothers in the southeast with a lot of qualified people also had the privilege since 1999 of producing five Senate presidents for about eight years, and also producing a deputy Senate president for about 12 years, all together 20 years in the current dispensation. The, uh, the north central part of Nigeria had the privilege to produce our David Mark for about eight years, and also uh, Senate President Saraki for 12 years, and even the deputy Senate president Mantu, and so of the Senate, and uh, also and also Haruna. So they've also had it says for well over almost 20 years at the same time. And now that the president-elect is from the south, 
that naturally the Senate president should come to the southern part of Nigeria. He cannot go to the southwest. We all know that. And then we looked at it and said, well, the South has had a test of it. And they will be very glad to support their brothers in the South-South. And then you, with these wise men of the working committee, graciously zoned that position to the South-South. And in the South-South, you have a party man par excellence, an uncommon transformer, a man who has had the privilege of serving in the executive for about six years as commissioner and eight years as governor and as minority leader of the Nigerian Senate and as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and currently a senator-elect and the only ranked senator-elect in the APC in South-South Nigeria in the person of Godswill Akpabio, GSM Square, GSM Daga, 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 Daga. GSM, Governor, Senator, Minister, Minority Leader, Daga, Daga, Daga. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you on behalf of all the Senators elect who are here. And to crave your indulgence to note that the 10th Senate is totally different from all other Senates. The 10th Senate is composed of about eight political parties. You have the Labour Party. You have the APC, you have the PDP, you have the NMPP, you even have the, the YPP, I think one YPP. So represented here are senators. We intentionally refuse to mention the appellation of political party here because we also intend to pay solidarity visits to other chairmen or political parties who make up the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We believe that we will gain from their own advice. We believe that the resource that will come from there will enrich us. And because we are a stability group, how to stabilize Nigeria, we believe that working with all the chairmen and working committees of all the political parties in Nigeria that compose the 10th Senate, that their advice, their input will help us to stabilize this country. That is why we are coming in our numbers. And just to mention that seated at the end there only, is the distinguished senator, Hanga, who has so much experience and is actually was elected on the platform of the NNPP. Only him that I will use as an example. And he came here and he could mostly and sat down there and refused to mention the political party. And I told them that we are senators elect. Once you pass through the door of the Senate and you enter into the chambers, His Excellency Gaidam, former governor of Yobe State, and our great leader knows that you now become a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And then we must sing Nigeria. We must stabilize Nigeria. We must join the incoming president, Bola Metunibu, not just to stabilize this country, but to bring more progress to this country, to take it from where we are now to the next level, and to ensure that future generations of this country do not regret the decisions we take today. We assure you that the decisions we've taken to give this opportunity to girls like Pabio, and his brother, Senator Jibrin Barao, will definitely bring fruits to this country. We are poised and committed to work with the Director General, including our two chairmen who are not here, Governor Omahi, Governor Bello, and many other members who are not here now. We have about 70 number. We are still growing. I want to appeal through you, sir, that you should talk to some of the members who are in the APC, who are yet to sign up. Which you just said here, that it is important to obey leadership. That obeying leadership is like obeying God. I was taught when I was a young man that you must be afraid of three things in life. And they call them the three G's. The first is the gun. The second is the God, God Almighty. No, I think God Almighty is the first. You must fear God first. You fear God first. After that, you fear the gun after which you fear the government. So you have God for you to always be wary of. Then you'll be afraid of the gun if it is pointing at you. And the next is that you must be afraid of government. But the Quran and the Bible point out that you must be submissive and you must obey leadership because that is the only way that you can progress. There is no society that can progress without discipline. So we just want to urge you to talk to our colleagues. We are still engaging them. 
We are still engaging them. We just came back from Lagos where we had stakeholders engagement. We talked to editors and the press in the country to let them know of our vision and our priorities for the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We have been endorsed variously by different groups. We were with the Governor Masari the other day. We were with the Governor of Ekiti State. We were with the Governor of, uh, uh, of uh, 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 Lagos State. Uh, uh, the Governor of Nas uh, Kano State and so many other Governor of Niger. Uh, we intend also to visit, or oh, we were even with the Governor of uh, River State because uh, we, uh, our incoming president was also there. We went there in our large numbers. We intend to make you proud, sir. We intend to bring stability to the, to the nation. We intend to make legislations that will answer the, to the yearnings of all the youths of this country. The restiveness that we are seeing today, the unemployment, the insecurity, the bad economy, everything joined together. We will work together with you and the incoming administration through legislation and through proper policies, monitoring, and at the same time, strict supervision, strict supervision, strict oversight. These people are all determined across political lines. Thank you for the opportunity. Let me start by thanking Almighty God for giving us this day and making us part of the day. And not only being part of the day, but being among those who are healthy, who are well enough to have this function that we are having of welcoming to the national headquarters of our great party. My friend, the uncommon, I know about uncommon governor, and maybe uncommon minister, uh, maybe uncommon commissioner. I take this visit extremely seriously. This is because the much any of you who spoke before now have tried to say is the fact that we did come out with your name and Barrow's name. It is also a notorious fact that there has been responses to what we did. And being Democrats, we are doing what the call of leadership is compelling us to do. We did in the announcement indicate very indicated very clearly that we need further and better consultation. We need to deepen our consultation so that we carry with us as much of those who are going to decide as who becomes the president or who becomes deputy, or who becomes any of the principal officers in the Senate, or who becomes any of the principal officers in the House of Reb, we give them an opportunity that the nerves are calmed. There is sufficient calming, there is a consultation. And from what you've just said yourself here, there is evidence, ample evidence, that this time we've given, there has been more consultation. And... Uh, <laughs> You are seeing, you are seeing more, you know, uh, the, the, the the outcome of these consultations. We will not relent in this effort. If it were possible, we want every single senator to be on board. If it were possible, but whatever we do, whatever signatures we collect. The byproducts, the last action to determine is the flow of the hollow chambers of the House, uh, what do you call it, the Senate, and also the House of Alternatives. So, all this effort is to see how we can continue to mobilize support. All right? But we're in a democracy. 
people are bound to have opinions that are our own. And we have no right to stop them. So we listen to them. The, the, the camp came here before us last week. We listened to them. The House of Reps uh, uh, team came here. We listened to them. This is in promotion of the spirit of the advice, of the directive that we, we gave as a party to have consultations. So I'm happy that uh, this consultation is going on and I'm happy that it is being very fruitful. And um, we wait for the 13th of June, the year of our Lord, 2023, and see what happens. I do hope that we'll have a rancor-free election on the floor. I want us to have a rank of free election. Because even if everybody says yes, it's Akbabio or X or Y, the rules of the game say there must be election. Those of you who are senators know this. We will not void that provision of the procedure on the day of proclamation by the president and the clerk of the National Assembly will conduct the election. I do hope and pray that we will carry the day. But I want to warn you not to be late. I hope I'm communicating. Don't be late. If you if you, you are late here, yeah, don't be late there. <laughs> Once beaten, you are advised. Thank you. <laughs>